In February 1856, a desperate mother committed a terrible act that demonstrated her deepest love for her daughter. On that seemingly ordinary day, a group of Kentucky agents led by a white slaveholder arrived at the woman's home with one mission, to return her to the slavery from which she had escaped. In desperation, the mother could only do what her heart dictated at the time, take her daughter's life. But what drove Margaret Garner to such a heinous act? Join me as we explore the incredible story of love and slavery. Margaret Garner was an African-American slave who lived in Kentucky in the 1850s. She is known for killing her own daughter in a desperate and extreme attempt to prevent her from being returned to slavery after escaping with her family to Ohio. Margaret and her family escaped from the Kentucky slave plantation of her owner, lawyer, slaveholder, and landowner, Archibald K. Gaines in 1856. After a long escape, they arrived in Ohio where they were aided by members of the local abolitionist community. The Garners and their four children, along with Robert's father, Simon, and his wife, Mary, made their way to the home of Margaret's formerly enslaved uncle, Joe Kite, who lived along Mill Creek below Cincinnati. Slave hunters and the U.S. Marshals found the Garners barricaded inside Kite's house before he returned. They surrounded the property and then stormed the house. Robert Garner fired several shots, wounding at least one deputy. In a desperate act, Margaret Garner killed her two-year-old daughter, Mary, with a butcher knife, rather than see the child return to slavery. Margaret was arrested and tried for murder. The defense tried to prove that Margaret Garner had been freed under an earlier law that covered slaves taken to free states for other work. Her attorney suggested that she be charged with murder so that the case could be tried in a free state with the understanding that the governor could later pardon her. The prosecutor argued that the Federal Fugitive Slave Act preempted state murder charges more than a thousand people came to watch the trial each day, lining the streets in front of the courthouse. 500 men were deputized to keep order in the city. The presiding judge, Pendery, ruled that federal warrants for the fugitive were supreme. It was then that defense attorney, John Jolax, tried a strategy of arguing that the fugitive slave law violated the guarantee of religious freedom by forcing citizens to participate in evil by returning slaves. Pendery rejected this argument. On the final day of the trial, anti-slavery activist Lucy Stone took the stand to defend her earlier conversations with Margaret. The prosecution had objected. She spoke about the interracial sexual relationship at the heart of part of the case. Calling to mind the faces of Margaret and Archibald Gaines' children, Stone told the packed courtroom, the colorless faces of the black children tell all too clearly the degradation to which the slave girls are subjected. Instead of surrendering her daughter to that life, she killed her. If in her deep motherly love, she felt the impulse to send her child back to God to save her from misfortune, who is to say that she has no right to do so? Margaret Garner was not immediately tried for murder, but was forced to return to a slave state with Robert and their youngest child, a girl about nine months old. When Ohio authorities obtained an extradition warrant for Garner to stand trial for murder, they were unable to find her for arrest. Archibald Gaines, her slave trader, constantly moved her between Kentucky towns. Ohio officials failed to find Margaret in Covington, failed to find her in Frankfurt, and finally caught up with her slaver in Louisville, only to discover 
that she had put the enslaved people on a ship bound for her brother's plantation in Arkansas. Despite best efforts of authorities to arrest and convict Margaret, she died of typhus before she could be brought to justice. Do you think Margaret made the right choice? This sad story was the inspiration for the 1998 movie Beloved, starring Oprah Winfrey. Please leave me your comments and like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the content. And thank you guys for listening.